Come on then, back down Ingham Mills, and as you can see, a few people outside the uh, Manhattan Jukebox Deli. Yeah, what's here? Who's playing the music? Oh, this guy here. Probably trying to sell it. Oh, mate. Oh, that's just, that's just, yeah, funny. <laughs> As you can see then, as all up there is not even full. It's not got a big screen up there either. There should be a massive screen uh, around it. I mean, there's one on Fantasy Island. Obviously, there was advertising it the other day on Facebook because um, the lad who, well, a guy who comments on my videos is uh, called Darren. And he's, he's actually on the picture um, of them advertising that they play the football. But what a load of crap, not even playing it. Wow, that's bad because... Uh, England's coming home and they can't even bother to play England. Wow. Anyway, I'm going to show you uh, where the Heron is and where the Poundland is in Ingermells today. Also where the Tesco is. So if you do live here, uh, well, not live here, obviously, because you'll know that. But if you have a caravan or come down for a week in a caravan, you can always have a stroll down here to the Heron and Poundland and Tesco's. Absolutely lovely. Good bargains in the Heron. So, yeah, you want to head, honestly, head down here. So literally then you just keep keep on walking, keep on walking. There's police absolutely everywhere. Saw about six police cars down here just for the England game. I'm just doing this before I head back. But yeah, the, uh, yeah, oh, like I say there's so many police cars around. They know it's all going to kick off when uh, England win. And if they lose, it's definitely going to kick off. Um, so we don't know, but come on lads. Started waiting for the bus and then I thought I'd walk down here because uh, there's a, you know what I mean? I might get it. <laughs> oh dear. England. If you ever need the toilet on the way back from the pub, always one sitting there. As you can see, obviously, Heron will probably be short by now. Um, maybe. I think it's short. The Poundland shutters are down, so I'm sure Heron is short. But, I mean, it is the England game. It is half past seven now. So, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not surprised. But, yeah, as you can see, it's all down here. How are you, mate? All right? I know. Only a little bit, though. Oh, that's all right then. <laughs> that's it. Always pull a bit back on there, don't you? See you later. Ah, 
absolutely massive inside then. But uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. Everyone's looking at me. Well, only the workers. <laughs> no one in here. Bloody dead. <laughs> but. All right, here we go then. Power London, and we've just been in Heron. Uh, obviously, we've got some chocolate and an energy drink. Always, always happens. Every time, every time I come by a shop, I have to go in and buy some of it. But uh, the Manhattan bar has been shut down for over a year now. Uh, crap inside anyway. But yeah, he's gone. He won't be back, the owner of that. Actually, they built all this on the outside, all the, all the chairs and tables and blockages and everything else. Everyone's smoking the wacky backy tonight, I tell you. But yeah, as you see, that's all down there. You've got the little Tesco's here. And also, if you're, uh, well, a bit older, you know what I mean? And you, and you like your newspaper, even if you're 50 and you like your newspaper. And a lot of people do these days. I mean, you get it on your phone and whatever, but a, a lot of people like to actually uh, flip over the pages and actually look what's uh, obviously in the book and whatever. I'm, like a guy said today when I was in work, I'm surprised you haven't been run over yet. And I'm surprised myself, to be honest with you. I do, uh, I do take a few shortcuts. And I don't really look either. And I should, I should. I'm going to start to now. But yeah, so there's your Tesco's. If you if you wanted it to Tesco, you get a good meal deal for three quid. Also, there's a charity shop just behind there uh, that basically helps Skegen Ingemals. I don't really understand it. Uh, I was going to go down there, but can't be bothered really. It's like I was just saying, the support the support shop, uh, local councillors or something, something like that. Sorry, I can't quite see it. But there's also a little shop down here. And this sells all, everything you need, really. If you're after your papers or anything like that, absolutely love coming here. My granddad did every morning uh, to get me nan's paper. Loves it. I think this used to be an old pub. Not anymore, though. Been shut down years and years and years. Church just here. Never seen anyone really use it, but I know it's... You know what I mean? It is in use. People do go in. Some nice doors on the front anyway. Nice glass doors. Oh, they're uh, war graves. Yeah, so they're war graves and stuff like that. But there's some lovely houses down here, I'll tell you. I don't have to walk all the way down. How far is it? Mm, it's a good 20 minute walk, but it's a massive house. Absolutely massive. I don't have to walk to it or not. So I've been told this is an absolutely fantastic restaurant. I've never been in myself. Uh, but obviously, it looks quite small from the outside, but apparently it's really, really good. So, I mean, look at the price. So breakfast for one, with one bacon, one sausage, one fried egg, Heinz beans or tin tomatoes, one slice of toast and bread for two seventy. Well, two two of them is obviously five forty five, but I think that's times two, like two bacon, two sausages, unless you can have it on two separate plates. I don't know, but I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't know, but. Like I say, I've been told it's a really good restaurant and a really good pub. So go in, try it, guys. Uh, tell me what it's like. I will, I will go in probably and see and see what it's like. You know what I mean? But there's vegetarian meals, breakfast from the grill, and main meals and light bites. So try it. I'm, I might come back and try it. To be honest with you, I don't know. We'll soon see. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.